हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम माय चैनल आज मेनी पीपल रिक्वेस्टेड टू क्रिएट ए वीडियो इन इंग्लिश ड्यू टू दे डू नॉट नो द हिंदी लैंग्वेज सो दैट्स व्हाई दे हैव रिक्वेस्टेड मी सो फॉर देम आई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो टू मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आई एम डूइंग हियर इन दिस ट्रेडिशनल स्विम पॉन्ट सो रिसेंटली वी हैव टेकन ए लीज लैंड ऑफ एट एकर्स इट्स एट एकर्स ट्रेडिशनल पॉन्ट and it was not being used for a quite long time we have taken uh, lease uh, these ponds 8 acres pond uh, to start some pilot project to understand what are the problems the traditional stream farmers are facing okay how far it is true what are the myth all the stuff i am going to explore here so for that reason we have taken this uh, piece of land the to uh, to evaluate to understand what exactly going on and uh, whether this tra uh, this traditional farming uh, the shrimp farming is real painful or either uh, uh, operational challenges okay to find out all the things we have taken this uh, uh, lease pond uh, to do all sort of uh, r and d here and uh, aaj uh, you guys are uh, knowing that i am doing uh, uh, shrimp farming mostly on the biflock system but this is the first time i am doing uh, the shrimp farming in a traditional way to explore all the things okay so today uh, this today i came here so this uh, land this uh, farm is uh, closely more uh, 100 km away from my home today i came here uh, to let you know what is actually here going on and there are some of the activities we need to perform here every 7 to 12 days so what are the, those activity and what are the current growth all the things i'm going to share in this video okay so please watch this video till the end and if you have any queries any question uh, please do let me know or and uh, so that i'll uh, uh, answer your queries as uh, list as possible okay so let me take you to the pond and let me show you the current growth of the shrimps and uh, the other uh, related information okay so here is my pond so this is the diesel pump so it is uh, used uh, to transfer water from one pond to another pond okay even from the shared canal okay this pump is is used for that and here in this particular region there is no electricity so everything is diesel uh, motor dependent and here is the paddle wheel aerator it is being used uh, for creating aeration on the pond and uh, as you can see so this is the diesel uh, <coughs> motor with a head block which uh, the paddle wheel aerator is actually rotating So here there is no electricity facilities are available. Due to that, everything is depend upon this uh, diesel motor. Okay. okay. So it's it was raining since morning. That's why the roads are quite slippery. Okay. So now let me uh, show you the check tray uh, so that you will understand what the current growth. Okay. So, so this check tray uh, is used for uh, to understand what the stream growth uh, and uh, to understand uh, to manage the feeding okay so today is the 26th day of the culture and uh, you can see this is the growth after 26 days So in this particular pond, we have stopped around two lakh uh, pieces of the venomous shrimps here, and you can see there is the current growth. And so far, no issues, no problems. Okay, so, so everything is um, doing quite well. Okay, so no major issues we have identified here in this uh, particular culture. Okay, and uh, here there is one uh, problem we are facing in this particular pond. so there is a huge water uh, leakage or seepage happening due to which every uh, like 6 uh, to 7 days we need to uh, pour the water uh, into this pond so that the major issue we have identified here so that the reason now uh, we are going to transfer all the sheds from this pond to uh, 
other ponds which are ready uh, probably next week we are going to do it as uh, it is going to rain heavily uh, for next two to two three days so after that we are going to shift all the shims uh, from this pond to the other side of the uh, ponds okay so those are the ponds okay so the, the, in those ponds we are going to stock or transfer the all the shims okay so that we are not going to face this kind of challenge because every time the water level goes down that is also going to risk for the shim also also we are going to burn lots of diesels here so that's the reason we are going to set all the thing all the shims to the different ponds and today we have uh, done the mineralization uh, for this particular pond because in uh, shim farming so every uh, uh, like uh, 7 to 10 days we need to do that we need to fulfill the required mineral uh, in the particular pond otherwise uh, there will be major issues we are going to face because in the feed we are only going to have this protein fiber and the fat but apart from that they need many several different uh, minor or uh, major or minor uh, minerals okay so, so for that reason here we have uh, prepared those uh, solutions okay and uh, every 7 to 10 days regularly we add it into the pond with the, and uh, when you add this uh, minerals ensure that you run the aeration this kind of uh, surface aerator so that all this minerals that those are going into the water it will get mixed well okay so if you don't do that it will take a very long time to mix in the water so that then you have to do it okay so i today i came here uh, to this particular site because every uh, 7 to every 10 to 15 days gap i came here to validate everything is going smooth or not okay and uh, the people who are staying here they every day they share the report about the water parameter about the things uh, the feeding everything and uh, based upon that we ask them to do certain tasks Friends, let me uh, take you to the another pond where we are going to uh, transfer all the seeds from this pond. Okay, so where we have stocked around two lakh uh, pieces of Vanami shrimp uh, to the next uh, the ponds. Those are located there. Okay, so today we are going to prepare the water. Okay, so before shifting uh, to the shrimps, and here you can see these are the for the biosecurity reason here are the reflective wires are connected everywhere so that the birds they can't get into the pond because the birds are the major concern here in this particular coastal areas where they transmit all sort of uh, diseases into the pond okay so for that reason for the bicycle region every the ponds is covered with this red color reflective wire so when the sunlight get in uh, uh, drops here it produces the reflection so that the birds they easily they can't get into the pond okay so for that reason by security reason these are wires are connected everywhere so this is the pond where we are going to stock all the shrimps from that pond to this pond Okay, so here are the dead, the plant, the algae, so you can say different types of aquatic plants. It got developed due to the water transparency. This water was quite transparent. So that's the reason uh, this plants uh, grown. And uh, if the water is so transparent, it will, the sunlight will directly penetrate into the water. And if the, in the bottom, if the huge amount mineral deposition is there so those ty type of aquatic plants get created which basically uh, if it is a harmful plant definitely it's going to harm the shrimp as well so it's very necessary to get rid of all these plants so that the sh shrimps will be healthy okay there will be no uh, issues during your culture period Friends, uh, to prepare this pond, we have prepared uh, this solution uh, based upon the 
water parameter that we have tested and uh, today we are going to uh, transfer all this uh, mixture mineral mixture into this pond to make the mineral available in the water so that there will be no health related issues uh, for the shims okay for that reason we have prepared this uh, mineral solutions so this is the customized mineral solution we have prepared uh, based upon uh, uh, this water okay so every water is a different has different parameter they have the different uh, mineral, mineral availability so based upon that water parameter so this water parameter we have prepared the solution mineral solution and today i am going to uh, transfer all this nutritions uh, all across the pond and you can see the pedal wheel aerators one is there and another in uh, is there in another corner so those uh, pedal wheel aerator are, are going to help to mix the minerals properly in the water okay so before struggling the animals so this is the activity uh, we are doing here so that's the reason i came to this place okay. कौन से करता हूँ? अब पके दे पत्थर गोले बा। So now we are uh, adding this uh, mineral into the water okay. and this person is going to roam around all this all across the pond and it will put uh, this mineral uniformly throughout the pond okay. and this uh, paddle wheel aerator will help you to mix this mineral in the water. And after two days, uh, we are going to measure again the water parameter. If everything uh, is looks good, then we are going to transfer the shims into this pond. Okay. So we have also another pond here. Here also we are going to do the same thing right now after finishing this one. Friends, uh, you can see the feeding is going on and uh, when there is a time for feeding, so these people usually stop the aeration which is in, uh, necessary because when you turn on the aeration, uh, the, with the help of pedal wheel aerator, the water actually moves. For that reason, the shrimp is, for the shrimp it will be very difficult to catch the feed. So for that reason, so they stop the aeration for a moment and they allow shrimp to take the feed easily so that's the reason you can see in this pond the aeration are stopped and the feed and this guy is uh, throwing the feed all over the pond okay so i can't walk because the road is so slippery due to heavy rain today morning okay it's very difficult to walk okay so guys if you have any questions or any queries put it on the comment section i'll try to respond as uh, early as possible okay so normally i uh, one thing i want to share with you people so in this particular area so they do culture normally two times in a year one is the summer culture one is the rainy culture winter they don't do it okay so because in winter so mostly there is a lots of issues okay the temperature go, do, goes down disease related issues that's the reason they don't do it and uh, the uh, the particular size here okay so, up here so we have lots of problem i'm going to share now so this guy what he is doing right now he is putting some amount of feed in the check tray to monitor so 
how much the feed is getting consumed at a what duration okay so for that reason he is adding uh, some little amount of feed into the check tray and putting in the pond okay so this actually helps to monitor the feeding how much you should uh, provide feed to the uh, shrimps okay if the feeds are not getting consumed at certain frequency they need to cut it, cut down the feed at some percentage okay so what i was telling is uh, in this particular area there are lots of uh, problem so in this area what i heard is the people normally wait for the rain to do the culture because here there is no fresh water available what they believe is uh, in the saline water this uh, they draw the saline water get the saline water from the uh, nearby river okay when there is a high tide happens so normally the sea is uh, not very far away uh, i think 6 to 7 km away from this place when the high tide happens the sea water get uh, get into the river and river water becomes little bit saline we call it as a brackish water and the saline level uh, increases to like uh, 15 to 20 within that range and this people here this uh, aqua farmer they do not uh, uh, want to do directly on that water because they believe that if you do so the success uh, the culture will not be successful so that the myth they have currently and uh, we need to prove them that these are the myth not actually real fact and likewise there are so many other stuffs uh, here which uh, we are facing at the moment even these are the people who are working here in this uh, a pond they are also they have also quite good amount of experience working in different ponds so even though i asked them to do certain things so basically they hesitated uh, because they have got prior experience in uh, other ponds so when i say something so it's very difficult to convince them uh, that you adopt this technology okay so they are not willing to so that's the challenge here because we are not going to stay here nobody stays here so i uh, stay quite far away and i am fully depend upon their report what they have sharing okay if the person is completely layman that's okay Bec- if the person is little knowledgeable there the problem comes okay so they here the, the same problem i am facing here let me see uh, let me see uh, how it goes on uh friends uh, so far uh, what i feel here is uh, here the major issue is the operational related issues uh during this 26 days uh, we have faced some uh, operational related issues means uh, like the site is quite far away and uh, hiring a proper technical person is a uh, is a bit difficult job who can stay here is a very remote place the basic availability is not there like electricity uh the communication okay city is far away okay those are the major problems here so that's a no uh, one is willing to stay here and here if you able to prove ourselves then we need to implement uh, lots of uh, technical system automations here to make the project successful and uh, without much of uh, human resource dependency okay if we able to do that then uh, i'm sure it will be a great success so that the that's it uh, for today and uh, as i said if you have any queries or any questions you can post it on the comment section and i'll try to respond to you as early as as possible friends for today it's the uh, for today that's it uh, and see you all soon with some new content and uh, some new videos till then bye bye take care and have a good day thank you so much